Hey folks, it's Frithka here, how you doing? Welcome back to Demolish and Build. I am just having to walk back up the hill to where we left our pickup last time, which was right in front of a chunk of gold, which I would like to collect. There is our chunk of gold, but the only way that we're actually going to be able to collect said chunk of gold is if we use this bad boy right here, which is part way. It is part way, we're, we're nearly there. We just need to finish driving this one up the hill over there so that we can actually mine out the piece of gold. Then what I wanted to do was finish loading up the pickup with scrap metal. We will try to drive around and look for some scrap metal so that we can load it up, get some more cash. Now we've already got enough cash for what we actually wanted to do, which was, um, I think it was buy the gold mine. I think we were aiming to buy the gold mine. That was our next thing that we needed to do. And then once we've, oh no, 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 no. Uh, we, we, we were buying um, some more timber so that we can um, finish building the house. We've got to put the roof on the house. Plus, we do also want to buy the gold mine, so um, we'll be able to get that one in action as well. We've, we've bought everything else that we need to buy. I think, li that's it. I think the only thing that we've got left to buy is actually the dump truck. We've got the ordinary, we've got the truck. But we don't have the dump truck as well. The, um, well, the dump lorry, whichever, whichever you want to call it. See, I would call a dump truck something different. I wouldn't actually like class the, the lorry that we um, still need to buy as a dump truck. That's um, more a, a bulk tipper rather than anything else. That, that, that's what I would class as a bulk tipper. Anyway, I needed this one to go on to here so that we can... There we go. There's our gold. We come out of uh, F to come out of there. There we go. Perfect. At long last... And there is a little bit of gold. All of that time and effort. There we go. 2,904. I'm going to leave that one right there. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to skip into this one. Where we have already got some scrap metal. And then we want to have a look at our map. Which is right here. So what have we got? I've got two bits over there. And I got one here. Now people said there's actually another car over here somewhere. Close to that one. Um, which is how we're going to be able to find it. So what I'll do is I'm going to... Actually, we want to be able to get down to the road. If we can come down here, set a waypoint. Accept. Yes. I don't really want to... Do I want to put the waypoint there? I'm just going to drive this way, and I'm going to hope. Can we do this on hope? Hope can be a powerful thing sometimes. I do wonder if we can do this on hope, though. Um, <laughs> With me driving, we may not be able to. We may not be able to do this at all. Ooh. Okay, we, we've got stuff here. I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know what these things are. Nope, there we go. There we go. Do you want to just weave? Weave in and out. Weave in and out. Chicane. Chicane. There we go. And we're onto the road. Nailed it. Ooh, what's that? I don't think that's anything that I can do anything with. So, I've made it to the road. This is where I wanted to be. And then I want to drive up the road. And where there should be up this end, there's two more circles. And I'm hoping that one of those circles, at least is scrap metal. We load up with scrap metal. When we're loaded up with scrap metal, we then take it back to the scrap metal merchant who is currently offering more than double the normal price. And this is why we want to do this. This is why we're bothering with all this. This is um, why we're sort of taking the time and the effort and so on to actually go and procure all of this scrap metal. It's because of the huge quantity of money that is currently being offered. Now, where are we? We have a look in here. Oh, no, we are spot on, actually. Do you want to set a waypoint to this location? Yes, I do. I do indeed want to set a waypoint to this location. I'm going to come up here, and I'm hoping that this will also actually allow us to, like, unlock this point. Uh, hmm. I'm not really sure which way. Uh, yeah, around the outside of the fence. That would be the best way. There we go. Look at my driving. I have got this. I am on fire with this driving. There we go. Two cars. we got both of them right here. So I'm going to just park that one right there. And I'm going to stop. Climb out. Now I need this one. And we can we can start taking things apart. Right. Let's try that. Is it going to do it? Nope. Uh, let's try the door. Okay. There's one. Uh, pick, press F to pick it up. And then we bring it over here. So that's on 45%. And then I will do the same on this door. Excellent. Okay, cars are a lot easier than trucks. We pick it. We're, we're, we're flying through this. Can I cut the bonnet off? I want to cut the bonnet off. A little bit there. Please let me cut this bonnet. I need it. I need the money. It's not letting me have it. Okay, we'll take this other door here. 
It's going to let me take that one. Uh, well, I thought we'd be able to cut through this. Oh, there's that bit. That I need the crane for. It doesn't let me use the crane, does it? Let's try chopping some more. Um, no, I can't cut that bit off either. It's not going to let me... It's, oh, no, I can have the doors. Okay, brilliant. If we can have the doors, that's going to really help us. But last time I did this, I chopped the piece off and then it wouldn't let me take it. I couldn't do anything with it. Let me try chopping this a bit there. I just needed to cut it a little bit further back, that was all. So if I move that over there. Yeah, I had another one and then I wasn't allowed to actually pick it up. Um, because by the time I got the vehicle back, it, it wouldn't take it. Yeah, let's try this one from the front, maybe. Still not doing it. It really doesn't like this, does it? I'm feeling cheated. I really am. I, I feel like I, I should be able to get more out of this one. This doesn't feel right. Uh, there. No. No, 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 no. Still not right in that one. Go on. Okay, I really don't like this. I don't like this game at all anymore. It's, it's an epic fail. We've got, over this way, there is a parking point. So maybe I can get the crane over here with that parking point there. If I can get the crane there, and then I can, uh, the wheeled excavator, I can then drive back over and hopefully it won't disappear. Because that's what happened last time, is it vanished. I got, I got it over there, and then it, it, it kind of vanished and I wasn't able to do anything with it. So let's, um, here we go. Can I get in? There we go. Right. I think I need to go over the other side. We come all the way around here. And, uh, oh yes, I can still see it. I can just see the little yellow dot where it's got the symbol for picking up the, the crane thing. So we're just close. Oh, I know what happened last time. I know what I did. I got dry. I drove part way back. And then I went rushing off and I did a um, emergency mission. And that's where we earned a load of money. Um, and that's why it didn't actually work out for me. So I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to just come in here. I'm going to stop right there. Back up a little bit. A little bit more. And then we go to there. And, oh, no, I don't want to do that. Lower down there. And then space bar. And then we pick it up like this. And then I switch over. I bring it back this way. And I bring it over to my pickup 100%. I don't know how much of that is overloaded it. But we're going to, uh, well... I was going to say we might come back, but I'm, I'm not actually sure. Um, I'm, I'm going to leave it for now. But this this one's loaded up at a full 100%. So I want to go in here. And then I want to go into the map. And we are going to need to go and get some fuel sometime soon. But I also want to go here. Gold Valley Scraps. Lumber Depot. No, it's that one right there. Uh, do you want to set a waypoint? Yes, I do. Okay. There is our waypoint set. So now all i got to do is get onto the road and start driving. Uh, we're just coming into town. I just need to anchor around... I was about to anchor around the wrong corner there. So we want to anchor around this corner here. And follow the road on up around. Slowly does it. This thing does drift a bit, this pickup. It is inclined towards drifting from side to side. Well, drifting straight on when you're trying to go around a corner. That's, that's the most worrying thing about it, is, is the drifting when you're trying to turn. I don't really like that bit. But I'm sure it'll be all right. We don't have very much in the way of other vehicles to contend with. So it shouldn't be, it shouldn't present us too much problems. Go, slide around there. And Gold Valley Scraps, waypoint has been reached. Now, I come in here. I got, there is a dude right there. What does this dude want? There's a, there's a job here for him. We need more scrap. We'll pay twice the market price. We'll look for green circles. Accept. Request accepted. So then I come into here. And I'll bring it in here. Gold Valley Scrap, zero of 1,000. Enter the details. Scrap, 3,600. I got one ton. That is, that's what we want, actually. Sell. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, sell here, 1,800. So I've, I've done it. I've done the quest, haven't I? I'm not really sure. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to climb out of there. And let me go back over to this guy again. Is he offering the same quest again? We need more scrap, pay twice the market price, except that... Uh, no, close. Right, okay, so we've, we've done that. We've gotten twice the market price. I don't really want to do it again, so we're going to back out of here. Um, now we want the next task. And what was the next task? I don't actually remember now. I think what I needed to do... Well, first of all, I need to climb out of here because I may have to teleport. 
Uh, we want to go up here. So we got Wooden House 2 up there. Yes, except get a taxi up to here. And right, so I've got four lots of timber here. And in order to... Well, surely I could have just built... Why couldn't I do... Oh, I remember now. I needed the nail gun and I didn't have the nail gun. Well, I've now got 14 grand. So I ought to be able to afford a nail gun with 14 grand. So we come down here and we will go to the tool shop. Except there... And we'll go in here and we'll see Doris. Hello, Doris. How you doing, love? Right, Doris, I would very much appreciate it if I could have a nail gun. That is just 500. Except I'm also going to buy a welder while I'm here because uh, I'm sure it would be handy. Uh, good for fixing machines and welding metal. Right, I've now got everything that I want from... Wait, wait a minute. Oh, I was going to say, the money's not gone. I've, I've still got the monies. This, this is really good. But no, I, I, um, that, that's not happened. Now, this one over here, I'm not really sure what I need this one for. I mean, it, it says for sale. And then I have a look at 6,500 used to carry ore and metal scrap. We could actually earn a fortune from ore and metal scrap with that one. That, that's going to carry a fair chunk. <gasps> they rammed into my, they, they rammed into my roller over there. Just look and see if they did it again. No, they didn't do it again. But uh, they, they did. He definitely rammed my roller there. I, I, I think it's very cheeky, except that really, if you if you think about it. Now I have the I have the next bit, so I can go under here and I press F. I have everything that I need. I've got the excavator wheeled part. I've got the cargo truck. I've got the excavator wheeled. Uh, oh, the lift. Um, and then we got the nail gun. Like, so we can assign worker if we hire a worker. I'm not going to hire a worker yet. I want to do this myself. Right, I need to get that into the right positions. We've got to assemble the wooden walls, deliver the planks, reinforce the walls with nails. Reinforce? Don't you, like, just put them together with the nails? Isn't that, like, how nails work? You use them to uh, put the walls together, not just reinforce them. Uh, this, and, uh, well, unless it's, like, a different kind of jointing system and, and we can just stack these wheels up as... Uh, the wheels? The uh, boards. We can stack these boards up as high as we like... And then once we stack them all up, then we just go in and we, we can um, like add a little bit of extra strength to them. And maybe that's how it works. A little bit at all, a little bit odd as far as I'm concerned. But it, it, if, if that's what if that's how it works, that's how it works. Uh, we go into there, and then I want to lift that one up like that bit. And oh no, I want to lower it down there a bit. And and there we go. Oh, I had that right. I had that right. There we go. Get one up. So then I'm gonna lift it up like this because I can put it onto. Wow. Okay, those ropes are really strong. Those ropes are really strong. Let's bring this one over this way. It's a little bit precarious, sort of balancing it up like that, but it's okay. Oh, they're already delivered. I, I do want to lower it down a bit. It does. It feels a bit wrong, sort of uh, leaving it up in the air like that. And then, then do it like that. Lift that one up. And then we come back over here and we pick up the next one. I will move over here. I've got one up around the back. I've got one right in the front, which is the last one that we'll do. I want this one here. I think that's in the right place. And then uh, I lower that one down. Now bring that one all the way in there. That should be... Uh, shit, I want to lift it up a bit, surely. Uh, why isn't it working? This should be... It, oh, it's... Uh, no, it needs to be over there. It should be alright. Why won't... Oh, there we go. Right, you have to get pretty close to it in order for it to actually work properly. So we'll lift that one up there, like that, and I think we can just hold it like this. So we'll bring it round. I'm not going to do the, the closest one at the back. I'm going to go right the way round, and we'll do the second one first. So let's swing up through here, and come on round this way. There. I can actually stop there, and what we can do is I can then swing it out this way, and lower down and then do that and then I should be able to just dump right there on top perfect absolutely nailing this job there we go and no I, I, sh I should have waited I shouldn't have said nailing it just yet I should have waited until we were doing the next bit I'm gonna do that anyway but um, I apologize for using the you're, you're saying the same thing like two or three times in a row because I'm planning to say that a lot I was already planning so as soon as we picked up the nail gun I thought yep yeah, definitely you know what I'm gonna be saying now don't you um, 
And yeah, so I, I mean, I'm going to do it anyway. And I realise that I've kind of already like worn out that joke, and um, so it's not really going to be so funny anymore. But it's it's that good that I'm I'm going to risk it. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm just going to I'm going to go out. I'm going to take the risk and do the joke anyway. Uh, come back round this way. It's daytime, six o'clock in the morning, and we have already gotten half of the timber in place on our building site. This is what you call an early start. The early bird gets the worm. What worm we're going to be getting, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. But I'm sure there is a worm here that we can get. So swing that one on round here. I am insane driving this thing. Don't ever go anywhere near me on a building site, okay? If you ever see me jump into one of these machines on a building site ever, don't go near me. It's probably going to end badly for anybody that's within 100 yards. Now, we go back onto here. I want to lower that back down, and then I need to bring it in. Oh, close. It's close. It's close. There we go. Nailed it. I said it again. I need I need to not say the whole nailed it thing and, until later. i got to remember this. Uh, I do actually need to lift that up a bit. There, right. Now, we bring that one over there, and then we'll put that in place there like that. I'm just going to move this one back out of the way a minute, and then I'm going to jump out of there like that and now I got to assemble the wooden house wall so the next thing I need to do is I need to go up here and there's our nail gun right and then I need to put these up like this so all we got to do is wow I am quick I am real I am lightning fast with this job I really am can I get onto the roof I don't think I can I'd, I'd, I'd like to be able to get on the roof I really would oh I might be able to do it from here um nope there, like that, and then I want to go to you, and to you, nice, and then up onto there, and then to you, there, right, and then I, I cannot go on the roof, it won't let me, I should be able to go on the roof, right, where, where do I put the nails, Re oh, reinforce the walls, no, down here, oh, I gotta do it inside, what's this, right, nailed it, there, see? It was worth the wait, wasn't it? It was it. See? Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. I am on fire. I am just nailing it. Left, right, and center. This is this is brilliant. I'm really good at this. Uh, ooh. Um, it would help if I stayed up onto the actual bits that I need to stay onto like this. Right. There we go. Missed. Uh, no. Okay, so nailing it is apparently more difficult than you think. And well, at least we've got lots and lots of nails. We, 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 nails are not um, a, a costly item around here, apparently. There we go. Nailed it. And another one in there. And there. How many times can I do the whole nailed it thing before we finish this particular job? Probably quite a few. Nailed it. And there. And get that one. And then we got to line it up and nailed it. Ideal. There we go. And nailed it again. I'm. I am. I am absolutely on fire with this. Okay. I didn't. I didn't nail it then. Oh, nailed it. Nailed it. You, you, I can even do this from the side. I can nail from the side. There we go. Nailed it. And uh, missed. Uh, that one there, I reckon, right there. Nailed it. Ideal. Ha <laughs> ha. Nailed it again. Na I'm absolutely nailing this job. I really am. Absolutely nailing it. And there is our new house. Okay, I'm going to stop now with the whole nailing thing. Uh, progress 50% done. Development stage 2 of 2. Deliver the planks. Assemble the wooden house roof. Reinforce the house with nails. Finalize. There we go. Nailed it. Yeah, I, I, I really will stop now. Okay, right. Development stage complete. This means that we now have our very own house. There is one more house that we need to build. Plus, we need to open our gold mine. Um, achievement unlocked. Wooden house. There is an achievement. We have done an achievement. So now, when I have a look at this... Hang on a minute. Is this finished or not? Um, the property is ready. Revenue 300. Property condition good. Wooden house too. Right, uh, let's just close that one. So then we can have a look in here and properties there. Right, guarded parking. No materials required. In maintenance. Uh, does this mean I've actually got to go and maintain it? Show on map. Guarded parking. Yes, I'm going to take a taxi here. What is going on? I do not understand. No materials required. Except task. Land property development. Run over bushes. What bushes? There's lots of people who've parked in here. They're about to um, understand that they, uh, they don't really want to leave things in my care. Because I am going to get my bulldozer. And I'm going to come over here like this. And I'm going to jump in. There we go. Right, now I need to run over the... I need, I need to run over bushes. 
There is a bush. And I have run over said bush. There we go. There is two bushes. Let's bring it on back. Uh, okay, well, I can't ram the cars out of the way. I suppose that's a good thing, really. I suppose it is a good thing. Because um, no doubt they'd want me to pay for them. And other such minor inconveniences. And so on and so forth. All because they thought that I shouldn't have run over them. And quite frankly, they shouldn't have parked them here in the first place. But, um, well, there we go. Apparently, I'm, I'd be in the wrong because I'm charging them to park here. And they really should understand that, you know, it's, it's all about the money. Ask my mate who I used to work for. He, he, he'd, he'd set them straight. Get that one. So I can assign a work. I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going, right, all tasks are done. So we're going to press enter on there and finalize. So we've now got our income back from our guarded parking, ready to generate revenue, ideal. This is what we want. So we've got um, workers, we, we, we need to be able to get the worker. That's gonna be our next thing. So let's have a look in here and, right, workers right there. Harold Powell, higher price, $500. John J. Weekly, 500. Wanda Huey, 500. Barbara F. Kirk, 1,000. She's level two worker. Um, and Richard S. Lewis is a thousand. Right, well, they're, they're, they're very expensive. What happens if I go to the properties and I go to guarded parking level? Oh, right. Um, okay. So then if I go, no, I don't want that one. Gas station toilets. Sure, map. Can I assign, I can't assign a worker to that, but I can assign a worker to my own properties. Right, let's go back to here. I like... John J. Weekly. I, I want John J. Weekly. He's got, John J. Weekly, you can come and work for us, except. Right. John J. Weekly is now our employee. He's costing us a fortune, though. Um, so let's let's get him out on the job quick. Right. Assign worker. There we go. Higher price, $100. Seriously? Sign worker. John J. Weekly is on the job. Left five minutes ago. I only just ordered it, and it's already saying he is... He is on the ball. That is pretty good. If he can actually do that before I ask him to go and do it, that is pretty good. Right, uh, we got three grand to go and buy that one and the small gold mine up here. Show on map. This is one that I want. I want to go to the small gold mine. Except, yes. Here we go. Where is it? Where is There it is. There it is. This is the one. It's the one that I want. Remember to collect ore regularly using the dump truck and sell it to on the market in order to earn cash. Cargo truck. Is that the one that we've got? I think it is. Are you sure you want to buy this property? Yes, I am. Wooden planks. Zero, five. Assemble the walls. We need a cargo truck. Okay. Uh, except I, I cannot assign a worker to this. I need, a, I need a more qualified worker. I do not have a worker that is capable of doing such things. So what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of driving all the way to... Oh, actually. Okay, the gold mine is just right outside town. That makes life a lot easier. We're going to go to that there. Do you want to set... No, I don't. Lumber depot, except. So you cannot actually jump straight to the parking points. But what I can do is I can go to this parking point here. And then I can press F and I can have my cargo truck delivered right here. And then I can jump into my cargo truck like this. I need five wooden planks. So bring this one over here. Anchor on round the corner. There we go. And ease up in here. I'm going to reverse back into there like this. And then we're going to buy five lots of planks and we're going to take them down to the gold mine. So we want to spin around that way like that. That is terrible driving. It's because I'm sliding all over the place. I've never seen a truck that would slide around like that. A lorry, a truck, whichever. I mean, this is in the States at the moment. So I suppose we ought to call it a truck rather than a lorry. But I've never seen a lorry that would slide around like that. Not ever. Not once. Not even when I used to drive very old beaten up ones in fields. Still didn't see them like that. Right, we want five lots of these. There's 2,000 by materials. Except, yes, I do want to buy them. You have bought wooden planks times five. Okay. I feel privileged now. Now, where is my gold mine? Uh, I think it's over that way. I think it's over there. We're going to, just to play it safe, I'm going to do that. And do you want to set a waypoint? Yes, I do. Except, there we go. So there is my waypoint over there. I'm going to come out here. And then I'm going to ease on round this corner here, like that. And then I'm going to come screaming on up through the main street, up through here. Well, actually, that's not the main street. That's the main street there. 
Right, I'm going to come screaming across the main street and hope that nobody actually hits me as I go screaming through the main street. That would be a little bit more accurate, I think. Right, let me bring this one over here. So now I've got to... Ooh. Right, to deliver up there, I'm going to have to go backwards. Look, we'll go up to here. Wooden House 2 has generated 300 income. Ideal. If you could keep doing that on a regular basis, I would be absolutely delighted. Um, that is not what is supposed to happen. <laughs> what is it doing? It's not supposed to do that. I don't think we're going to be reversing it up there off the road. I think what instead we're going to do is we're going to bring it back over this way. God, let's back it up down here a little bit. There's a car coming up there. We want to ignore that one for a minute. And uh, we want to bring this one in round here. Am I even going to be able to get up that hill? <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. This this vehicle is not really um, designed for off-roading. Not 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 even a little bit. Right. Close that one there. We've we've got the we've got the stuff delivered. I need I need to back this one down out the way. Right. Let's let's just put you over there. Before you hurt yourself, let's leave you there and we come back up. Right, now what do we got next? Wooden planks, five of five. Development stage one, accept tasks. Right. Assemble the walls, deliver the planks, run over the bushes. So we need... What should we do first? We'll run over the bushes first. We wanted, we'll do that first and then we can deliver the planks and then finally we do the last bit. Okay, so we're going to here. And we get the bulldozer. We deliver that one. Where is it going to be? Also oh, over there. Okay, that's good. I can work with this. Guarded parking has generated income. Is my man still on the job? Uh, I'm, I'm pressing the wrong button. Um, tell you what, let me go to this one. Just repair the durability like that. There we go. I don't know if my man is still on the job. Whether he's um, mended the other guarded parking yet or not. I haven't. I haven't checked up on. Him. How, how do you check up on him? Let's just have a look. Can we, can we check up on him? Jobs? No. Ah! John J. Weekly has ended work on your land property. Guarded pro parking too. There we go. John J. Weekly is the man. He is, he is everything we could ever have hoped for in a level one employee. And you know, maybe we can turn John J. Weekly into a, a better employee so that he is able to do more than just um, the, the level one stuff. I hope so, because I really love the name John J. Weekly. There is something quite appealing. I don't know where I have heard this name before. I'm sure that I have heard this name before. Absolutely positive that I have heard this name before, but I don't know where from. And it does... It, 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 it's, it's slightly frustrating. I know this name. I know this name from somewhere, and I cannot place... I, I cannot place it. I absolutely cannot place it. Does anybody know where John J. Weekly is, and who he is, where it came from? Why am I why am I so familiar with the name John J Weekly? That was not bad sliding down a hill like that. I think that was pretty good. Can I push these planks into place? Let's have a look. Can I push them into place? <gasps> I can. Okay. Okay, we we're, we're going to do this slightly differently this time. We we're going to go like this. And I'm just going to shove them over like that. <laughs> this works. Yes. Okay. Uh we need to I actually need to move this one round to the back. So we'll bring out over there. This is going to be a lot faster than using the um, crane, I think. If I can get it to work right. There's one. There's one. And I'm going to get these two. I'm going to try and shove these two over together. Bring them over here like this. Um, no, I don't need it. I don't need a hint. I, I know what I'm doing. I'm using my... This is called using your initiative. This is what separates the employers from the employees. Using your initiative. I'm going to break something there, aren't I? I don't want to break something. We need to assemble the walls in a minute. I've got to bring this round. There, like that. And bring it through this way. And then we can go up like that. Right, stop there. So now what I need to do is I'm going to go up this way. And just move one of these forward a bit more. There. There. Go for it. Yes. And then, uh, hang on, I need, I need to lift that up. There, there we go. Now I can, now I can come around here. Yes, 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 yes. Stop! Don't go any further. It's all right. It doesn't matter if you've tipped over. You still count. And we bring this one. Oh, okay. It's it's sorting itself out. Ideal. We we've, we've got self-writing timber over here. We got timber with AI built in. That's brilliant. 
That is going to help immensely. Right, that one is in place. And we got two more to do. I am absolutely on fire with this. Even if I do say so myself. Let's bring that round there. And a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And there we go. Right, so now I can bring this one that way. And then this one over here. A little bit more. Go, 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 go. Oh, yes! Yes! Frithgar is successful! Frithgar succeeds beautifully! I'm just going to go there and see what this... Oh, it's that one. Okay, I don't, I don't want that lift. Right. Next task. We go to here. All i got to do for this one is I just run around and assemble the walls. Like this. Uh, is this exactly the same as the house that I've already done? I think it might be. So i got uh, one there. And then there. And then there. And then there. All tasks done. Absolutely on fire. Frithgar has nailed it. Um, ooh, incoming call. Nice, our company rating has increased. I've managed to get permission for us to start a company branch in Dorfenburg. You need to go to the airport, travel to our new company location. Before you can start taking contracts in Dorfenburg, you first need to buy and prepare a company building first. All tasks are done. Press, uh, but I wanted my gold mine. I, I wanted to build my gold mine. Finalize. We've only done the first stage. We've got to put the roof on this bad boy yet. And then that uh, means we've got to put the planks out. And we've already done all that. All right, we're moving to Dorfenburg. Although I'm thinking, actually, maybe we should wait until next episode before we actually move to Dorfenburg. Is this... Is this open? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if it is. Uh, remember to collect ore. It is. Small gold mine. Property condition. Resources ready. Zero of ten. Close. I can own... Is, is that all I can do? What, what, what do I do? Uh, right. So this here... What is this? Travel to Dorfenberg. I don't want to travel to Dorfenberg just yet. I want to know what this is. What does it do? Uh, let's try seeing what this one does. Selling ore. Uh, some land properties generate ore. Load ore on the dump truck. Drive to market. Sell it. Load ore. You need a machine with a bucket. Right. So we've got to wait a little while. And then we get the... Um, the truck and we bring the truck over here with the excavator we got to get a bucket for the excavator and then we drive it to Gold Valley Scraps I guess do we go there Lumber Depot Gold Valley Jobs Market there's the market uh, Gold Valley Scrap North Gold Market there we buy gold ore $200 a ton show on that uh, go back go 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 back is that Oh, it's that one. Yeah, we already went up there. Right, okay, so we take it up there and then we tip it out and we, we can do it from there. Let's have a go at doing that. Let's go to the machine shop a minute. Except I got $4,767 and this one is $6,500. I don't have enough money. Um, Travel to Dorfenberg, buy and prepare a company. I don't want to. I want to do this. I want to just load it up Um, because I've never used this one before. And then I, I, I will have done every... I thought the tracks were gone on that one for a minute. No, they're not. It's okay. Um, and then, then, then well, I've, I will have done everything that I need to do on here, on, the, on, on this whole map. Is my vehicle still over here? Oh, no, I didn't leave. Yes, it is. The wheeled excavator is still over there. I uh, can't... I must... Uh, back. Right, I can't go... Mm. Oh, to get a taxi. No, 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 no. Well, I thought that I'd already discovered it. I can go there. Right. And I'm a bit disappointed with this, I've got to be honest. Um, where's the nearest point with a parking lot? My office right there. That's, that's the closest point to a parking lot. Except. So we go to here. And I get 1,800 if I load up with scrap. Uh, that's not enough. Is it? No. Yeah, actually that is enough. My maths is terrible. That is actually just enough. I get 1,800 and it'll be just, just enough to do what I want to do. Um, enter to show hint. No, I don't want that. Where's the... Where's, where's the... Par oh, there's the parking thing. That's the one that I want over there. I want this parking thing over here. Run over to this one. And I want to go there. And then I want to deliver the pickup truck. Like that. And I'm going to jump into the pickup truck. Like that. And then I'm going to... Which, which way do I want to go? Uh, that's the main street. I want to head down this way. We want to go bombing down here back towards where that scrap is. I've already got the wheel excavated there. I can just load up the rest of stuff that's in the other car into here. And then we can take it up and we can sell it. And I might actually be able to do that with double the price rather than just the normal price. 
At least that's what I'm hoping. Before I go around the back to the cars, I'm actually going to go in here first. Just use my brakes a minute. Um, I'm going to go in here first and discover this place so that it is marked on the map. Where do I... Where, where, where's the tip point for this place? I, I'm... I'm driving around it and I still not actually discovered it. This is this is terrible. So we come in through here. Maybe this isn't the one oh, discovered North Gold Market. I knew that I would eventually. Right, so we'll bring that one through there and then we'll bring that one in round there. And I've got a hint. Selling or oh no, back up a bit. Back up a bit. There we go. Right, there is a hint. Close. Okay, yeah, we've already had that hint. We don't want that one anymore. Um and round here, I should be able to get a bit of scrap. And then we can go to Dorfenberg. And I'm actually thinking we'll go to Dorfenberg in our very next episode. So all we want to do in this one is we want to load up a little bit of scrap. So I'll bring this one over to here. I'll stop that one. Stop, stop, climb out. There we go. Okay, I did it uh, eventually. And then I'll go to here. And know what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to cut off that roof. Do I have to go round all the different sides to do this? Or have I got to cut the doors off first? That I'm not sure about. Ooh. It's off. Okay, that's perfect. Because I want to see just how much we get from this. Because I'm not sure um, how much uh, like space the, the roof takes up. I think it'd be better if we went around here. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. We can just do it from here. Let's just do it from here. We go there and... Oh, no. I didn't want to do that. I Can, can I pick up the whole car? Let's see. Uh, I can lift that up a bit. And then bring it round a bit. And then I can lower it down a bit. And, and then I can move it a bit. And then we can do that bit. And then I can do that bit there like that. Okay. And then can I do this without moving? Can I do this without having to move? Generated income. Nailed it. And I can actually wallop my pickup as well. Look at this. Look at this. Look. 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 Okay. That's... that's Probably not the best way to treat my vehicles, um, but it's fun. It's definitely fun. Squash that one down again. There we go. Look at that. Look, look, look at it. Look at it working. Hammer that thing. <laughs> the suspension is brilliant. I love the way that is actually. That works really well, actually. Okay, let's just lift that one up and move. We'll, we'll, oh, no, I want to go backwards. I want to back out over here. There we go. Right. Climb out. So apparently we can't get much more in the way of scrap off of that. I can take this one off. There we go. Get that one. Put that one in. What are we on in the in the pickup in here? That's that's now 50%. Oh, so you get quite a bit for the roof. The roof is actually quite a valuable piece. Take that one and put that one in. So 61%. And now I couldn't get the bonnet last time either, could I? It, it wouldn't let me have it. I think this is it. It's the only bit that I can have for the car. If I come over here, uh, try cutting around there. I got a feeling that we can't get any more off of this car. I think this is it, which seems ridiculous because we've got a whole bonnet here. If it'll take the door, surely it will take this bit as well. There is no more that I can. Oh, what about that bit? I must surely be able to take that bit off. Look at it. The car is moving. The car itself is moving around. I, I can't. I, I, I can do no more. This is it. This is the only bit that I can do. I can't cut. See, the bonnet is gone off of that one. So why can't I take the bonnet off of this one? Maybe I need to do this. Wow, that is that is like seriously bright. That doesn't seem to be helping either. Um, is that, is that going to help? No, nope, that, that's not helping. Try this one. I don't seem to be doing anything either. I'm, I'm running out of ideas. Let me have it. I just... I, all I want to do is be able to, like, take take this bonnet and, and sell it. But piles and piles of cash. That's all. It should be able to come off. Look at it. Why won't you let me have the bonnet? I'm, I'm not asking a great deal, am I? I'm, I'm not being unreasonable here in any way. Let's come over this side. Take that bit off there. No. No. So on here, the boot is gone. The back doors are gone. The bonnet is gone. This is all bits that I couldn't get off of it last time. Let me go back in here and see if this one will do anything. Unless... Unless... 
Unless, I just had a thought, supposing you can only get those bits when you've got the, the dump truck. Maybe that is the case. Um, oh, hang on a minute. If I'm going to get the bucket on this one, this will decide whether or not I can actually do this. Because uh, we got, no, we want that one there. Uh, bucket. Four grand! Good tool for digging. I got a grapple bucket. Use the claw to smash or demolish wooden or brick construction. Is that one going to allow me to pick stuff up? Because otherwise I've got to have that one and that's another $4,000. And I don't have $4,000. I can't buy that and four grand as well. It doesn't look like it's going to let me do this. Maybe I, maybe, I can, um, maybe I can do it like this. Nope. Cannot do it like this. Okay. Right, let's... Um, oh, I know, I know. Can I, can I do this? We go to the grapple bucket there and equip. Like that. Now, is it going to let me do this? So I want to do that. There. And I can lift it up a bit. No, I don't I don't think it's going to let me do it. I'll try I'll try. I'm going to I'm going to try and pick the whole car up, but I don't think I can. And also I'm not very I'm, <laughs> I'm not very good at this. I keep getting the wrong um controls. Oh. Ah, well, I, I broke a piece off. That's, that's surely got to count for something. Uh, lift it up slightly. Bring that one round. Uh, no, it doesn't want to. It's, it's not going to allow me to lift it. Okay, it's fine. I'll shunt that one over there. It's not going to let me do any more. So I'll climb out of there. And then I'll come over here and I will get that one. And I'll bring it over here. So we, we have managed to bust that bit off. I'm up to 70%. But I, I'm not going to be able to afford it anyway. Right? I got 5,200. I, I need another four grand to be able to get the bucket for that one anyway. So we may as well abandon this project and we're going to be moving on to Dorfenberg. But we're not going to do that today. We've run out of time for today's episode. Nope, we're going to be doing that in our next episode. And we are going to... Go to here. We're going to go to here. We're going to go all the way down over here to the airport. We're probably going to have to go over here somewhere. Um, I might actually just... Let's just start driving back. We can sell this so we've got some cash with us. Um, yes, and we will drive to... We will um, we'll sell this little bit that we got. This, this We've got some scrap here. We'll sell this and then we're going to drive to the airport and we're going to go and make our fortune. Am I, am I going the right way even? Yes, I am. I need to keep going this way. Um, we will sell this little bit of scrap and then we're going to go to the airport and we're going to fly to Dorfenberg and we're going to set up the next branch of our company, Frithgar Incorporated. And we are going to make our fortune in Dorfenberg. We're going to make far more money than we have here. And I didn't even need to buy fuel. I, I was, I'm running low on fuel and I don't even need to buy some more because we're, we're rushing off into the wide blue yon wild blue yonder. Um, yeah, wild, wild blue, not white blue. Um, yeah. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.